So we're going to start with the foot on the floor. We're going to roll on our quads, okay? Um, from below the hips to above the knees, just like we do as part of our warm up here, okay? So we're going to lay down. First 10 you're going to do is right, your thighs out and your toes out. So you've you got a wide stance. Do that 10 times. Then we're going to switch to a narrow stance. Put your thighs together, toes together. You're going to do that 10 times. And then we're going to get the sides, okay? So we're going to do this on both sides. Bottom leg is totally straight. Other leg is bent over the top for balance. Get on your forearm. Same deal. You're rolling back and forth. And I'll pick my leg up so you guys can see. I'm rolling right above the knee, right below the hip, okay? You're going to do that on both sides. Then you're going to do your T-spine, which is the middle of your back. So you're going to lay on the foam roller and just lay over it right there. It needs to be in the middle, the middle of your back, okay? We're going to hold that for 30 seconds. And then, my wife's out of town, so I'm going to put my feet on the dog's blanket on the couch, okay? Don't tell anybody. But you put your foot up somewhere, lean in, stretch your hamstrings, just like that, lean in, 30 seconds, switch, 30 seconds per side, okay? Then we're gonna do a chest stretch, just like we do at the gym, so you're gonna find your, find your door post. I'm using the foam, foam roller, but you're gonna do this up against the door post, forearm flat against the wall, and you're gonna twist the opposite direction, opening up your chest, you're gonna feel a uh, stretch all throughout your chest right there, you're gonna do 30 seconds on both sides. And then the last thing that we don't actually do as part of our warm up in the gym, um, we'll do it right here. You're gonna put your foot, I would put your foot up against a wall, take your shoes off, put your foot up against a wall, piece of furniture, um, just like this. And then you're going to lean in. It's gonna be a calf stretch, okay? So you're gonna put your heel on the ground, your toes up on the wall or on the furniture. You could do it on the foam roller if you want. And then lean forward and you're gonna feel a stretch in your cap. All right, so with all of these, they're gonna be done for 30 seconds per side, unless you've got a particularly tight area, then you can spend longer on it if you want. But the goal is to get through this in a few minutes, unless you've got a tight area you wanna work on. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna get our pecs first. We're gonna do both sides, but I'm gonna demo on the left side. So you're gonna stay below the shoulder. So here's my collarbone right here, and here's the shoulder. The ball's gonna stay right in here, okay? It's not coming up on the collarbone. It's not coming up on the shoulder. That's just gonna hurt. It's not gonna benefit you at all. So right there, roll on the pecs. And what I'm gonna do, since I'm doing my left pec right now, I'm gonna take my left hand, put it behind my back, okay? Just like that. And then I'm gonna take this ball, press it against the wall, bam. And I'm gonna lean into it, okay? So I put it a little bit lower so I can really lean into it. I'm putting a lot of pressure. It hurts a lot, okay? And then if I find a spot, all right, like that's really tight, I'm just gonna press in, okay, and hold it can hold it if you find a uh, spot that's very tight. But essentially, like this is like the foam roller, just for a smaller area. And then of course, we would do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna do your upper back, your traps, okay? So you're gonna take it, you're really gonna get low. We're gonna place the ball right on the trap, right here, okay? Don't put it on your neck. Again, don't put it on the collarbone on the front, you're putting it right on the top, okay? So you're gonna have to get really low for this. So I'm gonna tilt this down. My brother-in-law, he's awesome. Just graduated high school, about to start college. Right here, put it on your trap, lean in, bam. In this one, you're just gonna hold, okay? You can rock a little bit if you want, but there's not a whole lot of room, there's not a whole lot of, of area for you to rock on. So just lean in, put a lot of pressure on there, okay? The next thing that we're gonna do, bump it up again. Next thing we're gonna do is the upper back. And so with this, we're gonna be hitting all up here, like the upper trap, okay? And then we're gonna come in between the shoulder blades. Don't get on the shoulder blade, okay? Um, again, don't get on the shoulder bone, don't get on the shoulder blade, it just hurts. Just stay on the muscle. So essentially we're getting that upper back, like right up through here, and then the, like right in the center, between your, so here's your spine. Spine, shoulder blade, you're rolling that ball all up in here, and then up here is the upper back. So you're hitting all up here, on these sides, shoulder blades, spine, you're getting right in the middle of those, okay? So we're gonna put this right here, so first we'll do the upper back, just like that. And now we're on, so before we were on the trap right up here, now we're gonna go, we're actually on the back, okay? I'm actually on my upper back. Here, let's see if I can show you guys from the side. Just like that, all right? So we're rolling all around the upper back, 
and then I'm gonna stand up a little bit. I'm gonna get in between the shoulder blade and the spine, okay? All right, now we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna have a little fun here, put it on the glutes. You're gonna take this, put it under your booty, and then you're gonna lean up on it, just like that, okay? And it hurts a lot, because your glutes are tight, because we sit on them too much, but yeah, it's really gnarly, but yeah, just dig in there, put as much pressure as you can tolerate. That's gonna make you feel real good when it's all said and done. And so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. If you do this, if you will do this daily, between uh, the first part, the, the foam rolling, like the, the warm up like we do in the gym, and then if you hit these areas, the pecs, all right, the upper back, or like the traps, then you get the upper back, and in between the spine and the shoulder blade, 30 seconds on each of those, 30 seconds on your glutes, you are going to feel so much better, and you are going to, to move, so much better and you're gonna get so much more out of your workouts in the gym, that's a promise.